NBA picks and preseason predictions going over my top four plays in the NBA on Wednesday, October 16th. If this is your first time here, welcome to the Buster Bookie Show. What we do here, we give you our top plays and predictions along with the opportunity for a $40 giveaway. If you would like to qualify, all that you need to do, number one, subscribe. Make sure you're a subscriber. Number two, comment below. Four and O, oh, give us the good vibes. We do need them. And then number three, like the video. You do all that and we sweep. I will cash up somebody 40 bucks. Not a good day yesterday. It was the first time ever we did make history on the show as going back to back. Oh, in four days. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It disgusts me. I absolutely hate it. NBA preseason is hard. All betting is hard. And uh, that is what we went yesterday. So I absolutely hate it. I know you guys will troll me a little bit in the comments. Go ahead and leave your best remarks. I'll take it. I can take it. I will accept it. It's not acceptable, but I understand that losing is not fun, and I absolutely hate it. So let's bounce back. It is a new day. I am going to stay positive. I'm going to have the good vibes. I need the good vibes from you guys as well. We've got four plays to go over. We've got three spread predictions, and we have a total to go over. So let's go ahead and dive into it. The first one we're talking about, the Brooklyn Nets taking on the Sixers. Six o'clock Central Time, you've got the Nets favored by four and a half. Now the Nets are looking for their second straight victory of the preseason as they're going against the Sixers team. Brooklyn is one and one after opening with a 115-106 loss to the Clippers, followed by a 131-92 win over Washington on Monday. Cam Thomas was the leading scorer for Brooklyn in Monday night's win with 17 points. The leading scorer for Brooklyn is Thomas with an average of 14.5 points, and Keon Johnson has 14 points but played only one game so far. On the other side, the Sixers are looking for their second straight win, and they are 2-2 two two following a 104-89 win over Atlanta on Monday. Leading scorer for them was Kelly Oubre with 14 points. Paul George suffered a hyperextended knee, and it is not known exactly when he's going to return, not expecting him to play in this game. Tyrese Maxey is the leading scorer for Philadelphia in the preseason, averaging 16.7. And then Jared McCain, he's the uh, impressive freshman for, uh, I'm sorry, rookie coming from Duke. He was a freshman at Duke, but he's looked very good, averaging 12.5. Now, our play in this one, we are going to roll with the Nets here. As I said, the fact that Paul George is not playing, uh, Joel Embiid already not playing as well. I don't think he's played all preseason. We don't expect him to play in this one either. So although Brooklyn is on the road here, I like them here going against a very hobbled and very injury uh, problematic team here for Philadelphia. So we are going to roll with Brooklyn minus four and a half as our first play. All right, play number two, we're looking at the Atlanta Hawks. Taking on the Miami Heat, this game's 6.30 Central Time. Atlanta is favored by five and a half. Now the Hawks beat the Pacers, lost to the Sixers, and they have won four of their last seven preseason games going back to last year. They're averaging 110 points on 44.8% shooting and giving up 117. Their rookie is Zakir Risachar. He's averaging 16 and 5.5. And Jalen Johnson averaging 14.5 and 8.5. And and Trey Young is still there. He's their third double digit guy. Clint Compella in the middle, averaging nine rebounds. The big move from this team is that they lost DeJounte Murray. They're going to put a lot more responsibility, even more so now, on Trey Young. On the other side, Miami Heat beat the Pelicans and the Spurs. They have won seven of their last 11 preseason games, and they are 2-1 uh, and one in the preseason. They're averaging 109.7 on 43.4% shooting, giving up 109 on 45.8% shooting. Bam is leading them with 13 points and four rebounds. Tyler Hero also averaging 13, and Jaquez is their third double-digit guy. Our prediction in this one, you know, you've got Miami plus five and a half here. And that is what we are going to roll with in this game. I think the, the Heat are likely to rest their key players after playing last night. Coaches aren't trying to play guys, you know, that deep into the game as the preseason is starting to wind down. However, I've said this several times before. 
the Heat are just very tough in the you know in every game. It doesn't matter who they're playing. Spolster is one of the best coaches in the league. We're getting five and a half points here at home, and I don't mind if they play some of their backups. You know, their older guys like Butler are getting older, and uh, you know I like guys like Duncan Robinson, Hawkes to get a good amount of minutes, and even Rozier is kind of in his prime. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays a decent amount as well. So. I don't expect them to play their main guy like Butler and maybe Bam as much, but I don't mind Rogier, Hero, and uh, Robinson getting a chunk as well as Jaquez. So we're going to take the points in this one. Give us the heat, plus five and a half as our second play. All right, play number three. We're looking at the Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the Chicago Bulls. I've got two plays in this game for you guys. Currently seeing this as Minnesota, favored by four and a half despite it being at Chicago. Now, Minnesota is 2-1 and one following a 115-110 loss to the Knicks. They opened up the preseason with two straight wins as they beat the Lakers and the Sixers before losing to New York. Anthony Edwards is leading the way for Minnesota, averaging 23.5 points, while Josh Minot is averaging 13.3. He's the rookie they got from Memphis. He's been a nice surprise for them. They also got Rob Dillingham. I like him. He's explosive. He's got a lot of potential. I think he's going to do a good job kind of replacing Mike Conley over the uh, long haul here. On the other side, the Chicago Bulls are looking to snap a two-game losing streak as they uh, were defeated by the Bucks 111-107 on Monday. The loss to Milwaukee followed a 124-111 loss to Memphis last Saturday. Their only win of the preseason was beating Cleveland 116-112. to 112. Leading score for them is Kobe White. He had 21 points, but he's only played in one preseason game. Second on the team is Zach Levine, averaging 17.5. Now, the problem for Chicago in this game is that really all for a while now has been injuries, but even more so, I think, in this one. They've got four out of its likely five starters listed as day-to-day -day on the injury report including Patrick Williams, Nikola Vujovic, Kobe White, and Zach Levine. I mean, these are four of their top five guys, and that is why we are going to roll with Minnesota on this one. Minnesota is favored by four and a half, but I think it's a line that they can cover. They've played very well in the preseason. You know, even though they lost to New York on the road, I mean, they battled hard in that game. Their core group is young. I'm talking about Anthony Edwards and some of these other guys, uh, obviously, Julius Randle is not playing in the preseason, but they still have, you know, Rob Dillingham, who I think will play a lot of minutes. I like this team. I like what I've seen out of Josh Minot as well. So I'm going to roll with Minnesota here. Give us Minnesota minus four and a half as our third play. All right. Now we're going to talk about the total in this game. 228.5 over or under. Minnesota is averaging 118 in the preseason. Chicago averaging 114. That gives you a total of 232, four points over our total line here. And then you look defensively. Minnesota gives up 114. Chicago gives up about 115. That gives you a total of 229, which would also be the over of our 228.5. So why is it so low? Well, it goes back to the injuries of Chicago. Not only do I not expect at least two out of those four guys to play, but in general, Chicago, they're, when, they're, when you talk about their depth, it's not very good. They do have to rely a lot on Kobe White, Zach Levine. I don't love what you will see out of their guys when they have to go into their bench. And so uh, that is why this total is lower, and I don't care what they are averaging on the year. I'm going to ride with the under in this game mainly due to the injuries of Chicago. I don't think they're going to put up a lot of points. I think they will lose. I don't think that they will cover. And I think that they will struggle to push this game over the total. I've got Minnesota getting probably around 120 points, but I'd be surprised if, you know, Chicago makes it over 105. So that would give you a total of 225 and hitting the under here. So we will take under 228.5 as our fourth and final play. That's going to do it for us. Here's a recap on all four of our plays. Our first one, we are going to take the Brooklyn Nets. Taking the Nets at minus four and a half. Our second one, we are going to take the Heat plus five and a half. 
We're going to take the Minnesota Timberwolves minus four and a half, and then we are taking the under 228.5. As our four plays for today, for Wednesday, October 16th, in the NBA preseason. Don't forget, if you'd like to qualify for the giveaway, we are due at this point. All that you need to do, number one, subscribe. Number two, comment four and oh. We do need the good vibes. Give them to us, baby, please. And then number three, like the video. You do that, we sweep. I will cash up somebody 40 bucks. Our motto on the show is to bust your bookie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We've not been doing that the last few days. I do apologize to our loyal viewers out there. We need a bounce back. Let's get it. Let's get the 4-0 sweep today.